Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and we're going to tie a CDC midge merger. First thing I'm going to do, this is going to be kind of in the Eastern European style, the little shuttlecock style, is I'm going to take some bright orange 70 denier thread. I've got an emerger style hook here. This is a 2488 TM Co, but you can use a little 2487 or a Daiichi 1130. First thing I want to do is take some bright orange thread. We're just going to go to the back of the hook here and add in a little hot spot. I'm just building up a little bit of bright orange thread at the back. And I'll go up to the middle of the hook shank and half hitch. Trim off my excess thread. Now switch bobbins here. I've got another bobbin with some black thread on it. Wrap back. I'm just going to leave that little bit of orange poking out the back in there. Next thing I'll do is it's got my thread, black thread firmly on the hook there. Take two CDC feathers. I'll just use kind of a natural gray CDC here, and I've got them matched up here at the tip ends. Pull those together. So that the ends match up. Just make sure that those are nicely lined up. Go up to the front of the hook and I want to have a little emerging wing stick about a hook shank's length up from the eye. So I'll go up towards the eye, let that overhang, tie that down, trim off the excess. Wrap over, come up to the front of the hook again, wrap a couple wraps in front. And just to keep those fibers bundled together, we'll post around them by wrapping our thread around the base of that clump of CDC fibers. Now we've got our little emerging wing. I'll wrap back a couple wraps. Tie in a little silver wire. Wrap back. Don't cover up your hot spot. Leave your hot spot at the back of the hook. I'll take some super fine black dubbing. You don't need much. I'll apply a small amount of super fine black dubbing to the hook or to the thread we'll wrap that around the hook adding just a little bit of bulk to our body wrap that up close to the base of the wing give your, some, yourself some room to tie off I got a little extra dubbing there I don't need all that and I'll rib my body tie off my wire at the front using the back end of my scissor jaws trim off the extra wire and then I'll do a whip finish just behind the wing you could do it in front of the wing too but
trim off the thread. And there we go. A little shuttlecock emerger, CDC midge emerger with a little hot spot gets their attention. And we'll come back here in a second and we'll look how this floats in the surface film. Okay, so here's that finished fly. I greased up the wing just a tiny bit with some dilly wax. Uh, good floatant that you can get through our web store, but you can also uh, use another product called uh, TMCO Dry Magic, which you can also buy on our web store. That gets that um, CDC coated uh, so it doesn't absorb water quite as quickly. But what you can see is that wing sitting up above the water. And then if we pan down a little bit here, kind of drop down just a tiny bit, you can go below the water line. You can see that body sitting underneath the water. Kind of a cool way that pattern just sits there, just below the, the surface film. Looks like that midge starting to climb out at the wing climbing above the surface but the body still hanging just beneath the surface film. Very good pattern for our winter midge hatches here in the Black Hills, but also on tailwaters like the Bighorn, anywhere you'd fish midges really. So tie some of these up. I usually tie them size 18, 20, 22, but you know, some, some cases you might go as big as a 16. Um, I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. We just finished tying a shuttlecock midge emerger. You can see it bouncing in the, the surface film there. Uh, you can find more videos at our website, flyfishsd.com. You can also purchase some materials to tie these flies at flyfishsd.com. Thanks for watching.